hello everyone welcome in my new video today i'm going to show you that how to customize a standard or a seeded seeded bip report in oracle fusion so sometimes we get maximum number of times we get a requirement that a client has given a sample output or like certain number of columns that we need to get it developed and show as a report as a report and deliver it to the, the to a respective client but in some cases there are some standard report given by oracle the client wants that the, they want the same report but as per their their as per their custom requirement so what we what exactly we do so let's get it started first log into your fusion application go to tools under tools go to reports and analytics and then from here from the shared folder you go to that respective standard folder uh, of the report so you can see that all the custom objects and the reports are there in under shared folder and custom but if you are going to customize a standard report you have to go to shared folder let's say the report belongs to financials module from financials let's say it is of um, let's say we will go with the payables report okay in payables we have invoices for example the customer wants that there is a report name invoice register report they want the modification into this particular CD report. So how do we do it? So as I have said in the starting that we have to log in into the Fusion application. It will be the Fusion application URL under that tools and uh, under tools there will be reports and analytics. Now if you see there is an option called more. If you click on it, you don't see any option of customizing. Now for customizing the report what you have to do is copy the basic url put it into a new tab after sh after slash you need to write xml p server so once you log in through this particular url you will be red redirected to the analytics part directly you need to go to catalog again in the same in the same fashion from catalog there will be a shared folder and shared folder you will have to go to financials under financials we need to go to payables under payables there is an invoices folder and then eventually our report of interest which is invoice register report now we are going to customize this payables invoice register you need to click on more once you click on more uh, as you have you would have already seen let me show you in a different tab readily so that you will be able to differentiate the reports this is a normal url if you click on more there's no option such as customizing the report so what we did is we copied the basic url and added xmlp server and then redirected to the report path and then you'll see the customize option once you click on customize it will redirect you to the custom folder let's see how it goes i clicked on customize this page isn't responding let's see is generating the report let's try again so we went to the same path and here again invoice register report you click on more and more you'll need to click on customize
generally a copy of the report gets created under custom folder let's see if it's there or not we'll go to custom under custom again under custom earlier we were directly going to the financial folder after shared folder now we are going under custom there will be financial module then we are going to payables and then invoices and yeah here we go you see owner Ankush Tiwari and it's the system date so the report has been customized now the next step would be you need to click on edit and download the template once the template has been downloaded we need to open the template and according to the customer's requirement we can redesign the template 90 percent of the requirement would be you need to redesign the template for that you need to get the again it's a basic uh, you can see my first video on the channel that how to develop a vip report a custom vip report so you need to get the xml and then design the template it might happen they need a slight changes or if they might they might completely change the layout of the report for example they want the data into the tabular format there will be certain columns you for example they want the report into this format so you will just as per the client requirement we can just redesign the template and once the report has been redesigned, redesigned you can simply Upload the template by clicking on properties. Choose the file. I'm not uploading it because uh, I am just showing you it as a sample. So, in case you have the actual requirement, you can simply just customize the report, download the template, and then redesign the template and upload it. Now, out of 100 cases, there will be 10 cases where the customer wants that they want to do some modification into the data model also. So in order to do those amendments, what exactly we do is we simply go to the same folder which is shared folder financials and that we will have to go to payables then invoices and then as we have seen the corresponding data model is in this and the data model name if you would like to verify what is the actual data model name we need to simply go to again custom where our customized report is placed and in custom we will have to go to financials and then tables if you click on add it for example we need to know the corresponding data models part you just need to hover the cursor and then you'll see it's in under data model and the data model name is payables invoice registered data model which we can see here which is payables invoice registered data model you can either archive it or unarchive and then eventually unarchive it or simply just copy it once you copy it you go to the custom folder again then we'll have to go to financials and then here you can simply paste the report perfect so once this particular data model is is placed here you can simply click on edit so edit the report and change the path of this particular data model you need to go to custom financials Then data model till this point 95% of the work has been done 
and you need just simply need to go to the corresponding data model and do the required changes and eventually once the changes are done you can simply save the report and this is how you can customize a standard or seeded oracle fusion vip report thank you for watching the video do subscribe my channel i'll see you soon with the next video thank you so much